Oh, we're back. Episode 54. Episode 54. You guys might have noticed, I like to start my weeks off with like a smaller task and then build up throughout the week. Today, the first thing we're doing, we're going to set the uh, sink faucet, no, the, uh, the drain. We're going to set the sink drain into the sink basin. So I have my plumber's putty the rest of the week though. We're gonna work on the bathroom walls, the finishing of the bathroom walls. So we're doing FRP in the bathroom. Deadlines are coming up. So we have to really put in the time out here, which is tough because obviously there's a whole lot of other stuff behind the scenes, a lot of work, blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to get everything together. I'm trying to get all this done. And hopefully this week we'll have a bit of a transformation once again in here. Let's get on to the sink first. I'm starting to go crazy in here. I'm starting to go crazy. Get a sink drain. So, boom, there we have it. So we did end up calling a couple more audibles on all the plumbing stuff. So originally, I had that fresh water tank back there, the big, big old fresh water tank. And then we were gonna mount um, like a half, half the size tank underneath the bus. We're doing it different because that's gonna be a giant hassle trying to find space for it, make sure the weight is evened out and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I got a little um, five gallon jug basically to put underneath the sink. So I'll just have to unscrew it and dump the sink water out wherever I'm at. But that is one task down for the day. I guess we'll find out how well I did uh, when we get the running water in. I'm gonna move on to the next thing, which I think is gonna be trim. I have to get trim underneath here. All right. Heading to my second home. Well, I actually have three homes. This one, no, I have four homes. This one, the bus, Lowe's, and Home Depot. So we're heading to Lowe's right now. I'm gonna talk to you guys very briefly about this. Um, just cause you know, these videos are just for my memories as much as they are to entertain and kind of let you guys in on my life. But I can't lie, I'm very um, overwhelmed right now. I've been working on this bus for the last year and a month. I've lived here for the last 23 years of my life. I've obviously traveled, I've done all of that, but I've never left home, left home. And I don't know if I'm ever gonna be moving back here. And it's scary but it's really exciting at the same time because I know this is the life that I desire and this is the life that will leave me feeling the most fulfilled. <sighs> it's all part of the journey. All right, enough of that. Let's get our things at Lowe's, regroup, keep moving forward with the build, finish this thing off so we can actually live that life. So we are gonna go ahead and paint these up, paint them white real quick, get the first coat on. I think I'm going to REI actually tomorrow in the afternoon and I have stuff going on in the morning that's not bus related. So I'm not sure if I'll catch you tomorrow or not, but I'm going to REI because I think I'm like pretty sure I'm going with a friend and I think he's gonna fly out to like either Colorado or Oregon in September, or in early, early October, like the first week of October to do a little backpacking trip with me, which uh, obviously you guys have to look forward to on this channel. So make sure you subscribe. There's a lot of travel content coming because that's what I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> I'm gonna be traveling a lot. That's it, that's it. I, I'm literally just gonna be traveling and uh, finding my way along the way. All right, let's do this. Let's do it. So I was inside working on a few things. My brother called me and he said there's something fun to come look at out here on the bus. So we're gonna see what it is. Oh, we have the lights up. Solar panels are on too. So that's run off the solar right now? No, there's not, oh, okay. there's not enough sunlight to run it right now. Right, but we'll start getting charged when. I'm gonna plug them in to verify it's working 
before I go in tonight, but I'll probably plug them in and leave them on all day tomorrow. Show so the dimmer. I don't know if they, oh, the camera does pick that up. So we put the white lights on a dimmer because they are pretty bright. And then we have this little fun feature. Boom, we have colors as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, we have like a party bus going on. Look at this strobe colors. This out. Your bathroom lights. Oh, 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 oh. It's hooked up. Your bathroom lights hooked up too. Oh, 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 oh. That dude, no way. Oh. It's not cold yet. <laughs> I can feel like a little bit of cold. Ice box. Check it out. Though. Check it out. Oh, it is cold up there. Yeah. So it looks like tomorrow we're gonna be putting a little some drinks in the fridge. That's awesome. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. <laughs> That's just so fun. That's super exciting. It's a new day. It's Wednesday today. It's a, bit, a little bit later in the day because it rained uh, off and on all morning and afternoon. Number one, originally for this stove oven combo, I was going to get a normal, what is it, like 15 or 20 pound propane tank and mount it under the bus and run a line through the floor and connect to that. But one, it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort to do that. And it, it, you know, you don't want to mess that up. That's, you don't want to be playing around with propane, not trying to build a, a bomb on wheels. So instead of going that route, I'm going to keep the propane in the bus. And you're probably like, uh, how's that more safe? And how is that possible? I'm going to use these one pound Coleman propane canisters. So right underneath, it fits perfectly in this section. So I'm just gonna strap down my propane tank in there. And the way I'm doing that is with some Velcro straps. So we're gonna go ahead and start today off with getting this strapping down. So we have propane in the bus. Before we get started though, check this out. This fan. Boom. <laughs> it's running off of my power in the bus. That's sick. Let's get to work. The sky is just as blue It's as if I'm stuck in yesterday When I'm thinking of you I'm turning out the lights so I could dream And when you smile through the screen Okay, so after a little bit of playing around I think I have it pretty secure here So we have it right here I mean, it doesn't it doesn't really move. It moves a little bit side to side, but that's not a huge deal and doesn't, it's not going anywhere. So I think that is going to be that. Maybe I'll like put some padding on the wood or something. I don't know, but for right now, that's going to do the trick. All right, we are back out. It's a new day. First things first, this morning I was organizing a bit and uh, this is what it looks like if you guys want to build a bus. This is what it looks like last year, this year so far. Lowe's and Home Depot are my literal second homes. This is ridiculous, like, bro. Crazy. Let's get into the build. This morning I went to Home Depot. I picked up some wall material for the bathroom interior wall. I got this instead of FRP, I got poly wall utility panel. It's also waterproof, but the only FRP that they sell in the store has like a really, like a popcorn kind of ceiling texture to it. And I'm not crazy about it. It's the only kind that they had, so I was, I was gonna do that. But then I saw this and I was like, well, this would probably work just as well. It's waterproof. It's not fiberglass, so I'm not gonna be getting it all in my body, which is amazing. It's just as lightweight, actually probably more lightweight. The only thing is, check this out, it's like very flexible. So I'm sure adhering it is gonna be kind of interesting. We're gonna give it a shot, we're gonna see how it works. So we're gonna start out with the trim and then we'll move on to the bathroom walls. <laughs> So it's gonna be a little bit more challenging, once again, as always, than I thought it was gonna be because the board doesn't fit flush because of this wire back here. 
this black wire there. To build a small box like I did over here. <laughs> There's never an easy project with this. It's never a straightforward thing. <sighs> I'll figure it out. Alright, so we'll let this dry up. For now, we're gonna move on to the bathroom walls. Alright, so I cut the first strip here. <laughs> and now it's go time. It's try to it's time to try to adhese it and see how it looks. And hopefully it, it works. Um, I have a rolling pin because I did not buy like a roller. I figured I could use a rolling pin, so hopefully that will do the job. <laughs> yeah. give it a little bit of a rest here for the day the one thing I'm realizing is there's gonna be a lot of lipstick and by that I mean there's gonna be a lot of PVC molding going on these edges because they're not pretty there's like some seams you know some pretty visible <laughs> seams basically 90 degree down here and I'm gonna cover this anyway and I'm gonna have a 90 degree here it's just my own like you know my own perfectionism. I think it's gonna look really good when all is said and done. I'm gonna give it a rest here and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Okay, we're back. And yesterday with all the excitement of working on the shower, I completely forgot that I built this little thing that needs to get sanded out and uh, painted. So I'm gonna start the day off with that. With that first thing done, we're gonna hop on to the shower. Alright, so I'm all set for now. I'm gonna take a little break. This is where we've gotten. So we have the window sill done and we have this inside surround done. We have this wall up and done. This wall left, that back wall, and this portion with this, but this is easy. I'll catch you in just a little bit. All right, so I was gonna film my food because I made a delicious steak and salad, but uh, it was gone before I remembered I wanted to film it. So here we are, we're back out. <laughs> it's time to finish off this bathroom. the curve and I'm convinced I'm just like stupid because I still didn't make a template for it you guys can't see my eyes roll under these glasses can you <laughs> I said that so um yeah we're just gonna we're gonna try and see what we can do it is off by a bit yeah this is the worst part of all this I swear <laughs> I had to do it. I filled up my freezer with like a lot of ice pop. <laughs> oh, I messed up the cut. Yeah, so I guess my brain just like farted out because I just 
took 10 inches extra off. Instead of 52, I took 62. I have one more panel. So I better not mess it up this time. I messed up the cut on the last one, on the last board. Um, I might be able to trim it in, but it's like the curve got messed up. It's like seven o'clock. I've been out here for like 10 hours, nine, 10 hours, and I can't help but feel defeated today. I really don't know what I'm doing. So that's why everything takes so much longer. So right now, I'm gonna clean up, I'm gonna go in, shower up. But I'm gonna come back out here tomorrow, even though I'm gonna have to edit the video. I need to finish this bathroom up, man. I can't continue having the bathroom incomplete. It's just, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. It's Saturday. First, I'm gonna get the third coat of white paint on here, but I'm not gonna bore you with that because it's just painting. So I'll catch you outside. When we're trying to finish up that bathroom, I really, I really need to get it done. All right, so I got another poly wall sheet. I'm hoping I don't mess it up again. Hopefully we'll actually have a bathroom by the end of today. Okay, well, I messed up again. I'm not getting another, I'm not getting another one. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm gonna have to Jimmy rig and trim. I'm gonna see about the one that I messed up yesterday because it wasn't terrible. It just wasn't really perfect. <sighs> Dude, this is just the most frustrating thing. I swear the bathroom out of everything in this bus has been the most frustrating thing out of everything. All right, so here it is. We have this bit all done. I'm gonna go ahead and trim in, start trimming everything in. Uh, I'm not sure, I might still put little strips up on that little bit of the sill, um, but I wanna see how the trim pieces look on there first before I put anything extra down. I made it onto the trim, right? But this is gonna take a lot more planning than I originally intended because originally I was just gonna slap it in here and make all straight trim cuts. 45 degree angle cuts are gonna be one, probably necessary, and two, it's just gonna look a lot better if I do it that way. So right now, obviously we have this super ugly seam in the corner, right? We slap our trim in and boom, we have a beautiful seam. Extremely ugly, not very good. Slap some trim on it though, and then you have a really good looking seam. In order to make all of it fit and look right, it's gonna be like, you know, a small piece of trim here that, that's then cut at a 45 to meet the trim that comes down this seam here. I think the trim itself is gonna take like a full day of work. But at least this part of the bathroom is done. I mean, it really doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look good but I'm not mad about it. Yeah, so under further review now, this trim is gonna take a full day, 100%, because I do want it to look right. I mean, obviously everything else in the bus so far looks pretty great, and I don't wanna just not make the bathroom look great because I'm under a time crunch. So that means I'm gonna have to wrap it up here because once again, I have to finish editing the video that goes up tomorrow, this video that you're watching. It, I have to finish it. So. Yeah, uh, that's gonna wrap up the week. I'm a little upset that it's not completely done, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new, like the video, comment down below, and without further ado, guys, I'll see you next week. Peace.